1800s, several state legislatures passed laws prohibiting black people, both freed and enslaved, from learning to read and write. Yet, under threat, Mary Peek risked her life to ensure generations of African Americans could receive the gift of literacy. On September 17, 1861, beneath the shade of an oak tree, Peek taught her first class at a Hampton, Virginia camp for formerly enslaved refugees. It was run by the American Mission Association. Two years later, she read the Emancipation Proclamation to her students under this same tree, and it came to be called Emancipation Oak. It was a site for the first official reading of Lincoln's Declaration in the Confederate States. The AMA would provide Pete with a cottage to teach her students. This is said to be the first building of the Hampton Institute, now known as Hampton University. When Hampton officials opened its doors in 1868, the first president was a white man by the name of General Samuel C. Armstrong, serving from 1868 to 1893. Armstrong was a former brigadier general in the Union Army, which after which he served as a Freedmen's Bureau agent in Virginia. He developed Hampton's uh, curriculum which, with labor and moral education as its core rather than intellectual studies. Some black intellectual elites of the day were less than enthusiastic about Armstrong's approach, most notably W.E.B. Du Bois, who felt the program shortchanged black students by downplaying the significance of academics and perverting the educational process. Du Bois even went so far as to say that the model accompanied white supremacy. Bill Wiggins, retired history department chair at Hampton, said Armstrong at times sounded like a benevolent racist in his correspondence, also saying he believed African Americans had to be acculturated that they had to be taught how to behave and practice the good work habits and skills that would make them acceptable to whites. Despite this, Booker T. Washington, who attended Hampton, was a protege of Armstrong and carried the Hampton model to Tuskegee University. He highly praised the man that Armstrong was. So today, we celebrate the legacy of Mary Peek and the origins of Hampton University. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime and have a fantastic weekend.